The final round of the European Le Mans series qualifying took place on the usual time of the weekend, Saturday, after a slightly bizarre Friday here where we held round five. The winners yesterday clearly have good speed in the GTE category for car 77 because they were able to put their car in third position despite a little bit of extra success ballast. Christian Reed doing the time there. Takeshi Kimura would be getting faster and faster in the 57 car guy Kessel Racing Ferrari and these guys still have a very slim chance of taking the title tomorrow with their Japanese entered machine. Second place on the grid will be the 488 but it was the 16 car that currently leads the championship to now extend the gap to a massive four points. They again are carrying 30 kilos of extra success ballast but it didn't stop Ryan Hardwick. He chose his tyres well with intermediates and that's what it meant to Proton competition with their pole place. We move swiftly on to the qualifying for LMP3 and again this was a massively affected session by weather it started off wet but continued to get dry there are no intermediates in LMP3 and although most of the field started on wet weather tyres one or two were brave enough to move to the slicks including Adam Alley who finished in third position for Euro International another car on slick tyres Marcus Siebert maybe the shackles off because this car yesterday won the championship with a round to spare so Siebert the Argentine will start from second position of the LMP3 grid but Gael Julien with a first for RL M Sport, a pole position, their first of the year, and they've yet to break into the podium slots in terms of results. Could this be their best opportunity to do so in the Felbermai livery car? Onward we would go and into the LMP2 world. Pro-Am out first with their light blue number panels, and Tom van Rompuy for DKR Engineering of Luxembourg again timing his lap to perfection not really using conventional lines as you can see there in the latter portion of the lap but his time good enough for third position second place to Saleh Yolic in the Racing Team Turkey car. Four poles already to his name. He was looking for a clean sweep this season, but it's gone a little bit awry at the Algarve International Circuit. It won't matter one bit, though, if they come home with the title in LMP2 Pro-Am. However, they will have one car in front of them, and this is quite an amazing story because the Proton competition Orica 07, this 99 car ended up in a bag of bits at the end of the race yesterday. Poor Jonas Reed with a huge crash, but they've repaired it and it's still clearly very fast. Giorgio Roda setting the time for pole position in Pro Am. And finally, the spectacular show as we headed towards darkness here at the Algarve International Circuit. It turned into a gladiatorial affair, really, with Paul Luc Chatin, with Jot van Outer, and with Oliver Jarvis taking chunks out of each other with every single lap, and uh, also Olivier Padis living every single moment for his man, Jot van Outer, in the 65 car. They just missed out. Third place for the French crew. Oli Jarvis in the 22 car also desperately wanting to start from the front row having one last time out but it will be second place for Jarvis because the previous double champion in the European Le Mans series Paul Luc Chatin just electric in the number 28 car a little bit about timing but more so about talent finding the grip in the crucial places and just finishing ahead of everybody else but it was one for the archives and it is the Delage back car from Edex Sport that will start from the front row in tomorrow's race.